Today, two local high schools look to be crowned champion of Lakeshore Public Media's annual academic tournament that we call Making the Grade. In the championship round today, we have Andrean and Valparaiso. A championship final comes your way next on Making the Grade. Lakeshore Public Media and Making the Grade are supported by Chick-fil-A, proudly serving our Northwest Indiana community, helping to support education and developing young minds. This public service announcement is brought to you by NIPSCO. Hitting an underground utility line while digging may cause serious injuries, disrupt service, and result in a fine. Call 811 two business days in advance of digging to have lines marked. It's the 2016 edition of Lakeshore Public Media's annual academic tournament that we call Making the Grade. Hello, I'm your host, Andy Schultz. Glad that you are joining us at home or in our live studio audience today. Eight of the best and brightest students across Northwest Indiana squaring off with one goal, the championship trophy and of course, scholarship money provided by NIPSCO. Both teams today have had a hard journey this week to get to this moment, the championship final. The winner of this game will be crowned. Will it be Andrean? <laughs> or Valparaiso? Let's kick this championship game off right. Five points are available in this first question, hands on buzzers. We are into our first round that we call question and answer. As we said, five points for correct response, no penalty for an incorrect response. We'll just give the other team a chance at those points. Here we go, the championship round begins now. What word, starting with N, describes a place where baby plants and baby humans Catherine from Andrean. A nursery. Nursery is correct, and the Niners are on the board first in this championship match. It became famous for its siege of Sevastopol and Battle of Balaclava. Name this conflict fought between 1853 and 1856 by England, France, and Turkey against Russia. Uh, sorry, Michael, not in time. We're looking for the Crimean War. Crimean War. All right, five more points available here. He personally minimized the panic of 1907 by organizing a consortium of bankers. Name this America financier who? Jacob from Andrean. JP Morgan. JP Morgan is correct. Didn't even finish the, finish the question, read my mind. You jump out to a 10 nothing lead, Andrean. A British violin teacher now claims that this man lied about his own musical accomplishments to add credibility to his system of teaching music. Name this Japanese businessman, Sylvie from Valparaiso. Suzuki. Correct, Shinichi Suzuki for five points. Valparaiso is on the board. American author Henry James was born in the US but spent much of his life in what European country? Catherine from Andrean. England. England is correct. Five more points for the Niners. You extend your lead. What adjective, starting with A, describes an angle between zero and 90 degrees? Catherine from Andrean. Acute. Acute is correct. Five more for the Niners. You are on a roll. Beehives are wired together in Africa to create a barrier between people and these animals. Anytime an African species of this mammal hits the barrier, the bees are disturbed and bother the animal. Jacob from Andrean. Lion? Uh, not lion, I'll finish the question for Valparaiso. Name this large mammal that is sensitive to bees if stung around the eyes or on the trunk. Brooke from Valparaiso. An elephant? That is correct, an elephant. Uh, five points for Valparaiso. Ohio is the only U.S. state whose flag is not what shape? Michael from Valparaiso. A rectangle. That is correct. Rectangular is the correct answer. That was an easy one, right? Five more points for Valpo. We keep it rolling here. Quick triggers on both teams. 20th century American artist Alexander Calder is most famous for his three-dimensional sculptures that can be touched and moved. Name this type of sculpture. Sylvie from Valparaiso. Mobile. That is correct. Five points for Valpo, and we are tied at 20 apiece. A portrait of her 
in the Illinois governor's mansion was hidden away after her husband was murdered in April 1865. Name this former first lady who went to a mental hospital, Jacob from Andrean. Mary Todd Lincoln. Mary Todd Lincoln is correct. Five points for Andrean. You jump back into the lead. The Broadway musical The Music Man is set in River City, a town in what Midwestern state between Nebraska and Illinois? Who, Jacob from Andrean. Iowa. Iowa, yes, whose capital is Des Moines. That's correct. Five more for the Niners. Which helping verb should you put before an action verb to say you're able to do that action even if you don't? Catherine from Andrean. Can. Can or could. We would have accepted both of them. That is correct. Andrean leads by 15. In Hawaiian, its name means the gift that came here because it first reached Hawaii through Portuguese immigrants. Name this small stringed musical instrument. Michael from Valparaiso. Ukulele. Ukulele is correct. Five points for the Vikes. You trail by 10. Yokohama, Osaka, and Sapporo are all cities in what Asian? Paul from Andrean. Japan. Japan, yes, five more for you. You extend that lead. Name the Hispanic author of the popular novel, The House on Mango Street. Eric from Andrean. Cisneros. Yes, Sandra Cisneros, five more points for the Niners. Here comes another five point clue. When Congress passed a tax on distilled spirits in 1791, the result was a brief rebellion on America's western frontier. Brooke from Valparaiso. The Whiskey Rebellion? Yes, the Whiskey Rebellion. Five points for Valpo at the buzzer in that round. And after one round of play, Andrean has the lead. We will head right into our second round of play that we call Pop Quiz. This is a one-on-one -on -one competition. No conferring with your teammates here. We're gonna go right down the road. It'll be Sylvie versus Catherine, Eric and Michael, Katie versus Jacob. Paul will take on Brooke. We'll cycle it back around again after four questions. Sylvie and Catherine, this question is for you, hands on buzzers. Give the term for a large spear with a barb that is thrown at a whale. Catherine from Andrean. A harpoon. Harpoon, yes, five more for the Niners. It can describe either, oh, sorry, this is for Michael and Eric. You knew that already. You know the game. It can describe either an acid or a base that totally dissociates in water and creates either a hydrogen or a hydroxide ion. Give this adjective. Eric from Andrean. Soluble? Uh, not soluble. Michael, want to take a shot? Go ahead. Decomposing? Uh, incorrect. Looking for strong acid or base. Strong was the key word there. Katie or Jacob, this one is for you. What state sold more than 3,000 permits to hunt black bears during one week in October of 2015 to deal with a surging population? We get Jacob in time? Nope. Sorry, Jacob, not in time. We were looking for Florida. Never encountered black bears in Florida, but apparently there was a problem. All right, Brooke and Paul, this one is for you. A group of mice plan to make a signaling system, so they will be alerted whenever their worst enemy is nearby. The problem is no one is brave enough to actually carry out the plan. This is the story of what fable whose moral is easier said than done. Belling the cat. Belling the cat is the fable we were looking for. Catherine and Sylvie, back to you. In which type of computer data structure are items added to the end but removed from the beginning, similar to a store's checkout line? Looking for Q. Q-U-E-U-E, -E -E, right? Q. Michael, Eric, this one is for you. Which agency, now within the Department of Homeland Security, is in charge of checking America's airline passengers in detail before they board a plane? Michael from Valparaiso. From the TSA? Yes, Transportation Security Administration, abbreviated TSA. Five points for Valparaiso. Katie and Jacob, hands on buzzers. Name the clergyman who wrote Utopia and who is the main character in the play, A Man for All Seasons, that details his 1535 beheading for his unwillingness to agree with Henry VIII's divorce of Catherine of Aragon. Looking for Sir Thomas More. Sir Thomas More. Paul and Brooke, this one is for you. It comes from the Latin for under penalty because you are penalized for failing to obey one issued by a court. Give this legal term for 
Paul from Andrean. Subpoena. Subpoena, yes. Andrean on the board. One more time. Five for you. Back to Sylvie and Catherine. Give the two-word name for the ancient time period, the first in which tools and weapons were commonly made of metal, that came between the Stone Age, Catherine and Andrean, from Andrean. The Iron Age? Uh, not the Iron Age. I will finish it for Sylvie. Came between the Stone Age and the Iron Age, and that is named for a common alloy containing topper and copper and tin. Go ahead, Sylvie. Bronze Age. Bronze Age is correct. Sorry about the tongue twister there. All right. After two rounds of play, Andrean with a 15-point lead, but many points coming your way in our next couple of rounds. We'll head into that third round that we call Class Project. All right. Simple enough. You can work together in this game. I will give you three clues that all point to one answer. If you give it to me after one clue, I'll give you 30 points, 20 points after two clues, and 10 after all three clues are read. You can buzz in at each of those levels. All right, here we go. Three clues, all pointing towards one answer. Everybody is eligible for this question. 30-pointer. Category is social studies. It explained a three-phase process that it's three, four, or five states would follow in order to join the union. Katie from Valparaiso. Missouri Compromise? Not the Missouri Compromise. Anybody from Andrean? A couple seconds left. Go ahead, Eric. The New Jersey Compromise? Uh, not that either. We'll give you one more or two more clues. Here's the 20 pointer. The final phase of that process came after a state reached a population of 60,000 and created its own constitution and bill of rights. Michael from Valparaiso. The Northwest Ordinance. The Northwest Ordinance is correct in 1787. 20 points for Valparaiso. And I believe you jump into the lead. That is correct. Three clues, all pointing to one answer. The category is science and math. Here's your 30 pointer. Its name comes from the Greek for hidden because it only became apparent in 1898 after Sir William Ramsey had boiled away other elements within liquid air. Michael from Valparaiso. Argon. Uh, it is not argon. I'll give Andrea a shot. Go ahead, Catherine. Nitrogen. Not nitrogen. I will read the 20 point clue. It is located between argon and xenon in the periodic table. Brooke from Valpo. Neon. It is not neon. Anybody from Andrea? Go ahead, Jacob. Radon. Not radon. I will read the 10 point clue. This noble gas shares its name with the home planet of Superman. Paul from Andrean. Krypton. Krypton is correct. Ten points for Andrean. You jump back in the lead. Enthusiastic responses on both sides there in the reference to Superman. All right. Three clues pointing towards one answer. The category literature and language arts. Here's your 30-pointer. Snowfire in the Aragon novels is this type of animal. Sylvie from Valparaiso. Horse. Horse is correct for 30 <laughs> points. My goodness, big points right there. All right, Valpo jumps out to the lead, and that is the end of round number three. And after that round, Valpo with a 90 to 65 lead on that correct response, but many points coming your way in our final round that we call final exam. Six categories, five questions each with 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 points respectively. We'll answer them in that order. The team that controls the board is the one who last answered correctly, except for the first choice, which goes to Andrean. You trail right now by 25. Where would you like to start? Do events of 2015. All right, the events of 2015, it's a 10 point clue. The Eurasian Economic Union controlled by this large country, began as a trade organization that includes its neighbors Belarus and Armenia. Jacob from Andrean. Russia. Russia, yes, 10 points for you. You're near Valpo, where would you like to go? We'll stay there. Staying there, 15 points, events in 2015. The 2015 edition to this book series about Greg Hefley and his older brother Roderick Katie from Valparaiso. Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Diary of a Wimpy Kid is correct. 15 points there for Valpo. You control the board. Spanish class. Okay, sure, Spanish class. <laughs> We're going to Spanish class. Here's your 10 point clue. This eight letter word describes a large round hat. Oh. Michael from Valparaiso. Sombrero. Sombrero is correct for 10. You choose the category. Mm -hmm. We'll stick with Spanish class. Spanish class, 15. This word came to English from Spanish for the schoolroom where most students eat lunch. Jacob from Andrean. Cafeteria. Cafeteria. Now I have to remind you, the buzzers are a little more sensitive than we believe. <laughs> Not the hand room. 
Yes, 15 for the Niners. You control the board. Events of 2015. All right, events of 2015, a 20-point clue. This Scandinavian country is planning to experiment with paying each of its citizens 800 euros per month. Catherine from Andrean. Finland. Finland, yes. And saying they're getting rid of other federal benefits. Interesting. Go ahead, Catherine. 20 for you, and you control. Trail by five. 2015. 2015 for 25. This cabinet department, led by its secretary, Jacob Liu, continues to print money as part of its supervision. Jacob from Andrean. Treasury Department. That is correct. Department of the Treasury. 25 points for you. You are in the lead. Where to? 2015. 2015. They're going to finish it up for 30. The wreck of the Japanese battleship Musashi was found by Paul Allen, a co-founder of this software company. Catherine from Andrean. Microsoft. Microsoft is correct for 30. Andrean extends their lead. Where would you like to go? Go children's literature. Children's lit, a 10 point clue. This Laura Ingalls Wilder novel says, Catherine from Andrean. Little House on the Prairie. Yes, Little House on the Prairie for 10. Where would you like to go? Children's lit. Children's lit, 15. She won a Newbery Award for her sci-fi novel, A Wrinkle in Time. Katie from Valparaiso. Madeline LaEngle. That is correct. 15 for Valpo. You control the board. A tight championship match. Um, children's lit. Okay. Children's lit. 20. It says, generally by the time you are real, most of your hair has been loved off and your eyes drop out. But these things, Katie from Valparaiso. The Velveteen Rabbit. Yes, Velveteen Rabbit for 20. Valpo clawing back in. Where to? Uh, we'll stick with Children's Lit. Children's Lit, 25 pointer would tie it. This Wilson Rawls novel tells of two dogs, Old Dan and Little Ann, that are trained to hunt raccoons. Katie from Valpo. Where the Red Fern grew. Yes, you know your literature. 25, we are tied. You control. Uh, let's just finish it off. Finishing it off, 30 points for Children's Lit. In this classic, the Baxter family must shoot Jody's pet deer so it doesn't eat their crops anymore. We were looking for the yearling. All right, we're done with that category. Valpo, where to? Spanish class. Oh, let's do Spanish class. <laughs> Spanish class, 20 point clue. The Spanish word abierto means this word in English, often seen at the front of a store. Michael from Valparaiso. Open. Open, yes, 20 points for you. You catapult to the lead and control. Where to? Uh, we'll stick with Spanish class. Spanish class, 25. In Spanish, this common summertime fruit whose major types include clingstone and freestone is called Sylvie from Valparaiso. Peach. Peach, yes, 25 more for Valpo. You extend the lead. Where to? Could stay with Spanish uh, and finish we'll, it? We'll finish off Spanish. All right, 30 points in that category. This three word Spanish phrase used to mean a direct confrontation literally means hand Jacob from Andrean. Mano a mano? Yes, that is correct. 30 points for Andrean, and you trail by 15. Where to? Do African history. African history, a 10 point clue. This word describes the former government system of South Africa. Jacob from Andrean. Apartheid. Apartheid, yes. 10 points for you. And this is a very close game. Where to? Af African history. African history, 15. This largest West African country by population has a federal. Michael from Valparaiso. Nigeria. Nigeria, yes, for 15. Back and forth we go. Valpo uh, controls let's the board. Do science. Science, the ca uh, that's the category 10 point clue. Used in biology to mean number of individuals per unit area. Its meaning in chemistry, Catherine from Andrean. Density, yes, 10 points for you. You control the board, Andrean. You trail by 10. Your African history. African history, 20. Between 1818 and 1828, this Zulu ruler united dozens of small kingdoms. Paul from Andrean. Shaka. Shaka, yes. Shaka Zulu, in fact, is correct. 20 points for Andrean. You jump into the lead. Where to? Stay there. Staying there, 25, African history. Mansa Musa was the most famous ruler of this empire that contained the city of Timbuktu. Jacob from Andrean. Mali. Mali Empire, yes, 25 points for Andrean. You extend your lead to 35. Where would you like to go? Uh, Broadway musicals. Broadway musicals. This is your 10 point clue. In the musical, on the 20th century, the 20th century is this type of vehicle that can carry many people from Chicago to New York in 16 hours. Catherine from Andrean. Train. Train is correct. 10 more for the Niners. You have control. We'll stay there. Staying there, Broadway, 15. Christine is the love of this title character's life. Catherine from Andrean. Raul. 
I'm sorry? Raul. Uh, that is incorrect. I'll finish the question for Valparaiso. Christine is the love of this title character's life with whom he tries to share the music of the night. Katie from Valpo. The Phantom of the Opera. Yes, Phantom of the Opera for 15, a tight game. A few minutes left to go in the game. Valpo, what would you like to do? Science. 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 15. This harmless sea creature, popular with humans, has a species called the bottlenose. Paul from Andrean. The dolphin. That is correct. 15 more for you. You lead by 45. Andrean, you control. Two 20s and a 30 up there still. Do African. African history. 30 point clue will end it. This Southwest African country was once called German Southwest Africa. Michael from Valparaiso. Namibia. Namibia, yes, for 30 points for Valpo. 280 to 295, you trail by 15. Where to, Valpo? Uh, let's, let's, uh, science. Science, 20 point clue. The constellation Cygnus is supposed to look like this graceful bird. Katie from Valpo. Swan. Swan for 20, yes. And you jump into the lead, I believe. That is correct, by five, you control the board. Let's go science. Science 25. This prickly evergreen shrub, often used as ground cover, surprises many people who don't know that once a section of it turns brown, it never turns green again. Looking for juniper. Juniper. Stay with science, Valpo, or go um, elsewhere. Sure, let's finish off science. All right, we're going to finish it off for 30. Deposits of this sedimentary rock made of calcium carbonate Catherine from Andrean. Limestone. Limestone, yes, for 30. Andrean is in the lead. You control the board. We have one place to go. That's Broadway musicals. Here's your 20-point clue. The title character of this Broadway musical, based on a novel, is an orphan who sings songs like Brooke from Valparaiso. Annie. Uh, that's incorrect. Andrean, with a chance, I'll finish it, is an orphan who sings songs like Food, Glorious Food, Who Will Buy, and Consider Yourself. Eric from Andrean. Oliver Twist. Oliver is correct. 20 points for you. 25 point clue in Broadway musicals for both teams. Here we go. This musical gave us the songs Chim Chim Cherie, Michael from Valpo. Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins for 25. And the final clue will decide it. The 30 pointer in Broadway musicals. This musical has songs about the golden helmet of Mambrino, about a lady named Dulcinea, admired by Don Quixote, and about the impossible dream. Michael from Valpo. Man of La Mancha. Man of La Mancha is correct for third. And that is our game. Valparaiso, congrats. It came right down to the wire, Andrean. Nice job and a well-played game by the 59ers. A great tournament, you should be very proud. And congratulations to our 2016 Making the Grade champions, Valparaiso, let's hear it for them. Very good. Let's bring our coaches up. Our coach is up to stand with their teams. We want to thank NIPSCO for being very generous, providing us with scholarship money for this competition. And it's been a great 2016 competition. Tough matches. The semifinals were fantastic. We had Munster, we had Hobart that uh, really, really came down to the wire. But these two teams came and played probably I would consider to be the tightest game that we have ever seen in making the great history, literally coming down to the final question. Thank you so much to NIPSCO and all of those that have made this program possible. That'll do it for 2016. We will see you next year on Making the Grade. Lakeshore Public Media and Making the Grade are supported by Chick-fil-A, proudly serving our Northwest Indiana community, helping to support education and developing young minds. This public service announcement is brought to you by NIPSCO. Hitting an underground utility line while digging may cause serious injuries, disrupt service, and result in a fine. Call 811 two business days in advance of digging to have lines marked.